from NBC Studios in New York, it's Late Night with Conan O'Brien. And Mike Nicholas Duro, Stanley Tucci, music by Wilco and Billy Craig, and Andy Fisher brings a friend. is in the audience tonight. <laughs> now for the rest of the night. <laughs> he does that once, and then that's his laugh for the whole night. I think that was a ghost of Slim Pickens. <laughs> <laughs> He's here again. Yeah. Always nice to have him with us. We've got a great show for you tonight. Not worthy of that kind of response, but still. A fine uh, piece of programming, and uh, let's talk about what's going on. Who, uh, who watched the playoffs? Anyone watch any baseball playoff action yesterday? Oh, yeah. Playoffs. Yeah, of course, the Yankees won, I guess, which is good news here in New York City. And, uh... <laughs> My plan is to get obligatory applause all night long. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> People at home are like, he seems to be doing well, but he hasn't said anything yet. <laughs> Uh, this is interesting. I read this in the paper today. The Yankees, of course, are playing the Texas Rangers in the playoffs. So this is uh, kind of weird. I guess it's part of a tradition. Mayor Giuliani made a bet with the mayor of Arlington, Texas. It's one of those traditional things that they do. And here's how the bet works. I looked it up. If the Yankees win, the Texas mayor has to give Giuliani a 10-gallon hat. And if the Rangers win, Giuliani has to get the Rangers out of the Bronx alive. <laughs> kind of the rule. So, check it out. I like that idea. Uh, yesterday, a little sad announcement, folks. Yesterday, Gillette, Gillette Company announced they're going to lay off 10% of their workforce. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, although now it may not happen because as soon as they announced the layoffs, sales of razor blades went way up. So... <laughs> <laughs> What's unfunny about unemployed people committing suicide? <laughs> What's with these crowds? I'm still here. Uh, last thing I'll mention, this is a weird story. Everyone's talking about it today, though, in the world of entertainment. Oprah Winfrey says that she turned down an interview with Monica Lewinsky because Monica got too greedy. It's a true story. Yeah, apparently uh, the final straw was when Monica demanded an hour alone with Stedman. <laughs> I... I'm gonna tell that Gillette joke one more time, sometime during the evening, and at that point, it will kill. So stick around for that, if nothing else, folks. Uh, wanna talk about the show tonight, Max? Yes. I'd have been screwed if you said no, not really. Uh, we got a great one we have uh, from the hit smash show, NYPD Blue, Nicholas Tuturo. Is on the show. I call him Nick, but apparently uh, I'm not, I can't do that anymore. We also have a very uh, cool actor on the show. He's the creator and star of the movie, The Imposters. He was also... Uh, 
the uh, star and creator of one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, uh, Big Night, Stanley Tucci. <laughs> It's Italian night here at the show, obviously. We got Totoro Tucci, and then our musical guest, uh, Wilco, with Billy Bragg, gonna be on the show. <laughs> Wilco! <laughs> Wilco is an Italian name, and Billy a braggadocio, so check it out. <laughs> and of course, uh, we have the Max Weinberg uh, and uh, the Max Weinberg 7. Max! Oh, Andy, what's going on in your life? Nothing much. No? Uh, I've just been hearing that uh, the ad for that new Robin Williams movie all the time. You know, it's what, what dreams may come. Yeah. And uh, it's about not giving up. It's been, I've been, like, finding myself just arbitrarily emphasizing a word. Just because. <laughs> for no reason? Yeah. What's your new diet? It's about not eating after eight. <laughs> That works for me. Yeah. So you're going to bring that into the show tonight? Uh, maybe. You know, maybe. You know what's actually the thing that I saw more ads for was that show Felicity uh, on the WB. Okay. That got more advertising. See, I haven't, I don't... Well, because it just was on last night for uh -huh. the first time. And it's about a young woman who comes to New York for the first time pursuing her love and her name is Felicity. <laughs> Which is going to be your first problem if you move to New York, I think. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Felicity. <laughs> you know, that's not going to last. Right. I am Felicity. But the show was not even on yet, and all summer long they were calling it a smash hit. Uh -huh. Tune in for the premiere episode of the smash hit Felicity in its fifth season. Yeah, <laughs> You'd be yeah, like, yeah. you haven't been on yet. Yeah, yeah but her name is Felicity. Oh, Felicity. Felicity. I thought my name was crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think Felicity, is, is that a name? That, now I'm gonna get letters from people. My name is Felicity. How could you do this? <laughs> uh, or like some really tough weightlifter yeah. guy is gonna be waiting outside for me at the show, you know? My name's Felicity. Johnny Felicity. <laughs> I'm Johnny Felicity. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I can't even do a guy with a low voice. That's the sad thing. That's yeah, close. Thanks, pal. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome.